Well, it's Hello. great to talk to you. It's good to talk to you too. I have been following your career since you were on General Hospital. I, I mean, everyone, you know, I, I, can, I, I for as long as I could work a hundred years and it would still be all about GH. <laughs> right. Well, it was, you did such a great job and it was such a great character and it just, Thank and you. then it just killed me when they blew, blew me off. up in a building explosion. Ah, that was awful. I'm still mad at them for that. <laughs> it was a long you time ago. Tell them. Can you call them and tell them? They can bring you back. You know, they do. I did. I came back as a ghost for like yeah. six months. And then finally it was like, all right, guys, we, we need to let this die. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> they bring people from the dead all the time and twins. That's true. And, you know. Twins, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> But they, you know, Alexis named her daughter after after your character. I know, I know. Already yes, Christina. Christina. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, I've seen you on a lot of things since then. So I know how busy you are and how, how many other things you worked on. Uh, some of my favorite shows like Eureka and Dropped It, Diva and uh, so many things. Yeah, yeah. And, and Eastwick, which I also like. <laughs> Thank um, you. So um, what drew you to this role? Well, I, I have to say, you know, I, I think that um, this is a period in American history that is underexplored. I think that um, I didn't I did a film a bunch of years ago called Altered Minds that was delving into similar territory uh, with Judd Hirsch about um, a doctor who adopts all these children and sort of you find out that he's like been doing all these mind altering experiments on them. Mm -hmm. He was one of he was one of these um, scientists uh in in the early 60s um using mind altering drugs and i also think that today um i think that these drugs are becoming more common and used in an appropriate way i mean i you read i read in the paper all the time that you know psilocybin and and um they're in small doses under proper supervision are actually helping people tremendously so I just think it's, as I said, an underexplored era of history. Um, and I think that, that uh, you know, more people need to know about it. Right. Uh, that, 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 that other film you mentioned, was that based on a true story? The one of, that experimented on his children? It was not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason I asked is because it's very similar to a plot line they had on uh, Six Feet Under. I don't know if you ever saw that show on HBO. Oh, I did see, but I don't remember that. Okay. The, the, okay. The, um... the woman and her, her, her brother, their parents were psychologists, and they used them as case studies. <laughs> they didn't torture them so much, but. <laughs> anyway they were all interesting up. interesting well also yeah yeah this was about a psychologist that yeah, yeah yeah everyone's pretty screwed up in this movie too yeah they they say that psychiatrists and psychologists often make the worst parents i don't know if that's true but <laughs> my therapist has great kids i have okay. through her i've heard that they're wonderful Good. maybe it's the bad psychologists and bad therapists exactly <laughs> the bad psychologists make bad parents <laughs> So this this is uh, you would describe this as a, a psychological horror movie. Yeah, I would say psychological thriller horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they say the best horror movies. Who's who's they? I keep quoting they. <laughs> they say that the best horror movies are rooted in reality, and this one definitely is. And uh, uh, yeah, and what I what I thought was unique about it is that he, especially with Rose, you know, he uh, Joe, our director and writer. Um, was able to show uh, the families and the world behind these doctors, behind these people, you know, who are, who are dealing, like normally in a documentary, you see sort of the um, highlight reel of the horrors they cause, but you don't know who's behind them and the family right. members that were affected and, and what happened behind closed doors. And so I, I think that this was just opening up the world a little bit for yeah. people to see the, the wreckage that it, that it left um, behind them. Yeah, uh, that ending was quite, Shocking. I'm not going to yes. put a spoiler on here, but I was like, uh, don't spoil <laughs> it, Suzanne. Come on. <laughs> it's a good ending. Uh, so uh, when and where was the movie filmed? The movie was filmed five years ago in Mississippi. So it's been a while now. Oh, yeah. It's been a while now. But, you know, COVID happened. And I mean, things like this, uh, like I was just saying how dope sick I, I finished shooting dope sick and like two months later it was out into the world you know yeah. so you have no control really when you're an actor um you do your best you enjoy your time on on set it's a, a an honor to be on set 
You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's such a rare treat, a rare pleasure to be on set. And then you just sort of let it go and say, all right, people, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I did my part. <laughs> Dope Sick, that's another great show you are. So, okay. Thank you. Um, so uh, how long did it take to film? I think about a month, something like that, five weeks. When it, was that the whole thing or just your part? Or? I think that we, uh, we were there maybe, I was there maybe about three weeks. My husband oh, and I went 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 down there to Mississippi, and yeah, in the middle uh, of summer had, that was very warm. You, yeah, it is. I'm in Arkansas, so I know how that is. Uh, <laughs> we're we're still, even though it's technically fall, uh, we had a few days in the 70s, and now it's back to being in the 80s again. It's like, okay, when is fall? Fall actually oh, comes no, in like November. <laughs> It's in the it's in the nineties. This week is yeah. in the nineties in LA. So the, the hottest summer months in LA are September and October. So yeah, you don't really have a, a fall no. <laughs> or a spring. I know. I grew up in San Diego. So okay, there you go. There you go. But we do get a fall here. It just comes like in November, it's late. <laughs> so um, had you worked with any of the cast or crew before this? I had, I, I worked with Anson Mount, um, Anson oh. and I did a series together called Red Widow um, for ABC oh, like 10 years ago. We played yeah, brother and sister-in-law. Yeah. Um, and Anson, uh, yeah, we played brother and sister-in-law. He's killed in the first episode and the whole series is about avenging his murder, basically. Ah, okay. um, and so when, when I found out he was cast in this, I was like, all right, let's, you know, try on husband and wife for size. Let's see if that fits too. So it was, <laughs> it was lovely. And then Alona Bulbul, um, is a, is a wonderful Israeli actor who I've known for many years because my husband is Israeli and and they've they've been friends for you know decades. So yeah, we all it was a nice little uh, troupe on set. Oh, good. I, I think the I, I have to look up the names again, but I think the actress that played the the trans person, uh, Jen, she temperatures. Yeah, she, yeah. I think she was on his show Star Trek: um, Strange New Worlds as a she came in as a pirate captain. She was great. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Yeah, to I, 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 go ahead. No, Jen was lovely. I, I got to hang out with her a bit, but we, we didn't really work together, but she was, we, we hung, yeah. hung out off campus. <laughs> yeah. Well, he needs to get you on that show. I could see you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go, you guys have both done a lot of science fiction, fantasy type things. Yes, 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 yes. I've done my fair share. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Let's see, do you have any interesting stories to share about uh, making the movie besides the hanging out? Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, it was, uh, you know, hot, hot as hell. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was, what can I say? It was five years ago, so I don't remember that. You know, it's, it's like before COVID, before I, I now I have two kids. Before the world um, changed, yeah before the world changed yeah um but it was a, a pleasurable you know look it's always cool to see a film evolve you know and you know you, you shoot your part and then the director goes off and edits it and and you see you know it's rewritten in editing in many ways so uh -huh. to see it again was was a very cool excuse me this is called to being woken up at 4 a.m by my two-year-old oh. um oh, no. uh it's very cool to see to, to see it you know to see what what the next vision is beyond what you shot and beyond what right. was in the script so you have a rather intimate scene in the movie with Anson, <laughs> who plays your husband how do you as an actor get comfortable with the other actor before shooting that type of scene or do you just say hi let's jump into bed <laughs> I mean, it's so, you know, uh, we, Anson and I have been doing this for a long time. So, right. you know, we've been lucky enough to have, to have careers where, you know, we've been in all sorts of different crazy situations and, uh, you know, he was more exposed actually than I was. I, yeah. I was fully clothed. Um, but, you know, it's part of the job. There's a whole crew around you. You know, there's 25 yeah. people staring at you. So it's just sort of like, all right, let's just rip the Band-Aid off and get down to it. Oh, okay. And you re you read the script beforehand. So it's not like, you know, something is thrust at you that right. day. Um, and I think that we just, you know, we talk about it with the director and, and we talked about it with Joe. And how does this scene serve the film? Um, and you just sort of throw yourself in. I mean, you're, you're, does it serve the story? You're playing characters. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's fun to be something that you would never do in real life. I mean, it's, right. it's part of the, 
the imagination of this <laughs> of our job. So, right. Well, I think his fans will definitely not have seen him in that position before. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe Anson hasn't done. I was on Nip Tuck, so I done I done oh, right. just something okay. kind of similar to this. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, they did a lot in that, in that show. They did a lot of crazy shit in that show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you've been making short films with your husband and, and won an Oscar for one. Congratulations. And Thank are you, you making so much. more more films together? We are. We leave in two weeks. Uh, we're in prep for our next one. Um, oh, I can't talk much about it, but but oh. it's uh, yeah. We've been we've been planning it for a couple of years, and we're finally going to shoot it. So okay. when we're done with it, I, I'll I'll we can talk again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I was looking at IMDb. The the ones that you've done, they've all been very different, but interesting. So. Yeah, yeah, very very different. I mean, I think that the through line is sort of socially conscious films maybe you know films of yeah. some sort of you know meaning behind it um but this one is politically is politically charged and so we we sort of need to keep it under wraps until we finish it and and then we can we can talk more about it okay great and um anything and else? i'm acting and i'm acting in this one i i i'm uh Oh. Um, we're, we're producing it together. A guy wrote it and is directing. He wrote it with, uh, with another writer and then, um, I'm acting in it as well. Okay. And, uh, anything else you're working on that you can tell us about or just focused on that? No, we, I just finished, uh, shooting in Toronto, a mini series for Apple called the big cigar. Oh. Um, so that's with, uh, Don Cheadle directed the first two episodes. Um, so that I'm sure will come out at, next year at some point. Um, a very interesting miniseries took pl takes place in the seventies with Andre oh. Holland. Yeah, yeah. So that that will be, I think that 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 will be very cool to talk about when that's out. Yeah, cool. That sounds nice. I like stuff set in the seventies. I grew up in, <laughs> in, in Hollywood in the seventies, and I yeah, like no, spray yeah. painted, <laughs> spray you know, spray painted oh, brown, yeah. uh, you know, with that and that flipped hair and a lot of. Uh, you know, uh, a, a lot of lame. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. So in the disco era, like? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. LA in the 70s, <laughs> Hollywood. Yeah. So it's going to be very great. cool. There, there's a new show that I'm actually on a panel for next. It takes place in 1972. So it's a big thing now, I guess, to do the 70s. <laughs> What's the show? What's the show? Uh, it's, it's the Win Winchesters on the CW. It's a sequel to Supernatural. Oh, okay. or not a sequel, a prequel. So their parents prequel prequel yeah so anyway so well i'm i'm glad you could talk to me and uh i i thank you so much for taking the time i watched the movie last night and and i'm not a big horror fan but it it was not you know some it's mostly because i don't like things that are really gross and it wasn't too gross <laughs> it was mostly interesting and and scary but in in a you know non-gross way so i was glad i didn't have nightmares <laughs> 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 Well, thank you for thank you for this talk. It was nice. It was nice chatting with you. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. See you later. Thank you thank so you. much. Uh, let's see. Stop.